couple of videos ago, we used the command 3D undump to create a region of interest or ROI so that we could extract parameter estimates from that region. In other words, we're only focusing on a restricted set of voxels and we can create a sphere or a box around a certain area and only look at those voxels. After we've done that, we can then extract the time series across all those voxels, average them together, and get a mean beta estimate for that region of interest. There are a couple ways that we can do this. There's 3D mask av, or average, and there is 3D mask dump. I'll show you how to use both of these. First of all, let's recall that I have a mask that is called left NACC mask plus TLRC. To use 3D mask av, all I need to do is supply the mask, which is left NACC mask plus TLRC, and then the name of the statistical data set. Okay, and I'm going to use a subric selector so that I'm only focusing on one coefficient or beta weight. I type that. It says 81 voxels are within that mask, so I'm only looking at 81 voxels, and I'm taking the average beta weight across all of those voxels. And the average beta weight is 0.125. The other way is to use 3D mask dump. So here I type 3D mask dump. I give it an output file. In this case, let's say left NACC dump mask.txt. I want to suppress any output with the raw voxel coordinates. I'm not interested in those, but I do want the RAI coordinates. Okay, so just type XYZ for an option there. Mask again is going to be left NACC mask plus TLRC. And again, I'm looking at the same beta in this statistical data set. So after that, I do get this output data set. Left NAC dump mask.txt. And these first three columns are the X, Y, and Z coordinates. Okay, and they're in RAI orientation. So remember, positive is more left and negative is more anterior. And this fourth column right here is the beta estimate or beta weight at that particular voxel. Okay, so in this text file output from 3D mask dump, I get the average or I get a single beta weight for each voxel. Now to actually take the average across all of those voxels within that region of interest, I can use either Excel or from the command line something like awk. This is just an example that I use. If you have something else that you'd like to use, feel free to do that. But here I'm just going to print out the average. And to use that same text file. Okay, so you see here that these two values are identical. They're the same thing, just mass dump gives you slightly more information because you can see each beta estimate at each voxel. What we've done here is we've run parameter extraction for a single subject. What you'd like to do usually after you've run a second level analysis is to extract parameter estimates within an ROI across all of your subjects and then perform, say, a t-test on those values.